Now, what happens if you don't have a title or if you have a really bad title? Well, basically, Google will, will use its relevancy algorithm. It'll probably look at the contents of your page and make up a, a title on the fly. So things like um, home page as a title or no title or untitled or title goes here. I mean, the, the permutations are endless. Uh, you see this time and time again on people's websites where they've um, either been written by people who are not entirely sure what they're doing or they've been written by um, a uh, web designer who hasn't entirely done the job properly. So they produce nice, pretty looking pages, but they haven't exactly optimized the website from a, a search engine point of view. And again, this is something we see time and time again. Now, titles for documents such as uh, Microsoft Word documents and PDF documents, as you just saw a few slides ago, uh, even though um, a document or a you know, PDF document or a Word document or a PowerPoint document, um, these documents, can, if they're um, made available as downloads within your website, they can show up in the search engine results. And it's important that you optimize these also from a search engine point of view. If we come out of this for a second and I bring up uh, Word, this is the uh, Word 2.10 version. Um, what we need to do is we need to go and uh, look at the properties. In previous versions of Word, you click on, say, the File drop-down menu and then select the Properties command. In this particular version of Word, which is Word 2.10, you click on the File drop-down menu, go to where it says Info, and then over here we've got some properties. We can click on this Show All Properties command here, which will expand the list slightly. But basically what we can do here is we can give it a title. You see at the moment it says title and add a title. If you just simply click there, we could type in something like um, Perth SEO training. We could put some tags in there, which are basically um, the same as keywords. So we could type again, maybe the words Perth SEO training services or something like that. And there's various other things. We can add comments. Um, we can add uh, information about the company. So in there I could type in Cheltenham Group. And basically you should take the time to see if you can add any further information. So for instance, the author says Dave. You can add a new author, so I could put the company name in as an author. And basically the more information you supply here, the more information uh, Google has to actually go and access uh, within the document um, to display within the search engine results. Because even though people don't generally look at the properties um, buried within the document, they are nonetheless still available for the search engines to examine in if necessary they can use them. But as I say, the title one is, is uh, quite important. And uh, by and large, this is it, completely ignored by most people. They just don't put anything in there. Um, as a slight aside, when you are using documents like PDF documents, Word documents, PowerPoint documents, things like that, uh, the other thing to bear in mind is you should give the files a relevant file name. So in this particular case, I was going to um, save this file if it had some useful information in it. I could save the file as something like um, SEO training or SEO dash training. It's probably best to use the dashes rather than use spaces. Um, it's just easier for the, uh, um, the syntax and everything else. Um, so as I say, you can optimize your, your documents as well as your web pages, so just bear that in mind. Right, if we could go back to where we were. So as I say, use the properties feature, put a description in, put your tags in, put a title in, and comments or anything else for that matter. Now the click-through rate in SEO. Uh, SEO is all about getting your search engine displayed ideally in the uh, top 10 search results when uh, people search for your particular product or service. But that's only half the story. At the end of the day, it might be displayed on the screen, but the display of your title and your description and any other information about your website within the search engine results has to look appealing. Uh, basically, you're competing with uh, 10 other pages, of uh, 10 other websites normally. And it's important that your um, snippet, your search engine snippet, as it's called, which consists of your, um, your URL, your title, and your description, it's important they look as enticing as possible because uh, the better it looks, the more likely people will click on it. And this is represented by what's called the click-through rate, or CTR, which is basically the percentage of people who will um, click on the, um, your particular website as listed within the search engine results as compared to uh, all the other um, uh, websites that are displayed. So the, the better the click-through rate, the better 
uh, Google will like a particular page because again it keeps records of all this kind of stuff. Um, if you start checking out the Google tools, you'll find that um, it has it logs all this information about how many times your um, particular website is displayed in the search engine results and also how many times it's clicked on. Um, so again, it's one of those circular things. The more the you know the higher your click through rate, the more likely that Google will think your site's a good site and um, the more it will be elevated within the search engine results. So it's a, as I said, it's kind of a circular, circular thing. Right, titles and matching uh, HTML headings. Um, to increase the relevance, relevance for your title, you should uh, really make sure you have your, your keywords in the title, obviously, but within the body of the um, web page, you should always make sure you use headers. You know, the header one tag, the header two tags, the header three tags, they're covered elsewhere. But you should make sure that Basically, the contents of the title and also the content of your headers kind of match up. If they if they got totally different emphasis on your headers and your uh, title and indeed your description and um, all the other uh, optimization work you're doing within a web page, then Google's going to get kind of confused. So, um, if you've got uh, a title that says something like "Plumbers in Perth," then it, certainly in your H1 uh, heading you should have something similar to plumbers in Perth within that heading as well. Don't have them exactly the same, obviously, um, but have them similar, have them related, because Google kind of understands this sort of stuff and the relations between the different parts of the website. Um, you can also have similar but slightly different phrases in um, subsequent headers, so for instance, H2 headers or H3 headers. And uh, as I say, the more coherent it is, the more the web page kind of hangs together for a common theme, the more likely Google will say, yep, I understand what that page is about. Uh, don't overdo it, obviously, because that will look like spamming. But within reason, if everything is pointing in the right direction and the same direction, Google's going to say, yep, I understand what this page is about. And for a particular phrase or, or um, keyword, you're going to be elevated within the search engine results. Now, keyword positioning within your title, you should always um, use your keyword phrase at the very start of the title. Uh, it kind of makes sense when you think about it. Um, what you can do is um, have a title that's uh, basically up to 64 characters long. That will be displayed. Um, so within the first 64 characters, you can have the, um, the really important um, stuff. So for instance, if you're a plumber in Perth, you could have something like Perth Plumber Service or something like that. And then uh, towards the end of the title, you could have something that was maybe not quite so important, like the um, you know, open 24 hours a day or 24 hour service, something like that. Um, but as I say, it's important to realize that uh, only the first 64 characters or so will be displayed, but Google, as we'll see, does actually take account of the uh, longer titles as well, even though it doesn't actually display the information. Now, localization of your or titles, um, again, these days, a lot of people will search for a local service or a local product or a local supplier. And this obviously depends on the type of business. If you're a, um, a national or multinational or sort of mail order company, then this is not quite so important. But certainly, again, if we stick with the idea of a plumber, then um, basically most plumbers work fairly locally. Uh, they work, you know, work at a suburb or a region or a state or a city level, or there might be a chain of plumbers, in which case it might be um, slightly more extensive. But certainly always think about including uh, you know, suburbs, region, state within the title itself. So for instance, um, you could type in something like plumbers, um, plumbing service Perth, something like that as part of your title. Um, also bear in mind that uh, different countries use different spellings. So um, in uh, Europe and Australia, for instance, uh, the word organize is uh, spelt with an S, whereas in North America it will be spelt with a Z. So again, there are uh, differences in spelling depending on what sort of market you're, you're targeting. So as I say, Google only display about 64 characters, but may index up to about 250 characters. So you can take advantage of this. It basically means within the first 64 characters, the, the characters will actually display the snippet in the search engine results. There you can pack in what you want the humans to see. However, uh, up to about uh, 250 characters, you can still get the information in there indexed by Google, maybe. Um, it will vary from um, site to site. Um, but what you can do is you can put your less important keyword phrases after the first 64 characters. That's really what it boils down to. Uh, obviously, don't make your titles too long because, again, that will be interpreted as spamming. Now, as I say, Google only displays 64 characters, up to 64 characters, but um, 250 characters uh, can be indexed. 
So by doing this, you can um, really take advantage of um, the way Google works. As I say, towards the, the end of a long title, you can include maybe keyword variations, uh, plurals, or um, you could use different um, words which have the same meaning, but they're actually different words. So you can experiment with this and um, basically drive the best title for your website.